switch thing on my phone. Running a little late, sorry. Okay, turn this down a little bit. Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to the stream. I'm here to start Silent Hill Origins. I am playing uh, the PSP version. I'm doing it uh, via emulation. I'm playing the PSP version instead of the PS2 version because I tried to emulate the PS2 version back when I was trying to get footage for my Silent Hill 1 Let's Play and it had a lot of bugs, like I couldn't see anything and this version allows you to adjust the brightness. So hopefully I can get through it a little bit better. I haven't really though played through this game since it came out, so I have a feeling I'm gonna get lost because I remember some areas being insanely large. <laughs> I just passed there. That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up, son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Late well, on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your parents when you do it, how you don't even remember how or why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Anything now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy. Huh? <laughs> hey, come back! Yeah, let's get back into the truck and just go. Okay, Travis, whatever you say.
have, oh, oops, wrong button. I forgot I can't really um, move the camera on this game. Hmm. So this billboard right here is for Hemingway. Actually, you know what? This is kind of loud. There we go. Um, oh, thank you for hosting. So the Hemingway cigarettes are kind of a an ongoing thing in the series. Uh, we see them in Origins, we see them in Shattered Memories, and um, were they in Sound No One? Anyway, they, they make an appearance several times. Oh no, Hemingway, there was a cafe in... Um, in the business section of Silent Hill in the first game. And there was a, a guy named Ernest Hunt anyway in Silent Hill 2, the Maria sub-scenario. <laughs> oh, look at the sign. Okay. Silent Hill. Not fine. It's smoke. My God. Oh, he's just chilling out around the side of the house. Don't mind me. Someone's in there. Ah! 
Oops, sorry. Oh, she's probably over there. Oh, okay. We'll see this world. I can't believe I pulled that out. Huh. Uh, pyramid. I don't see anything else cool. Alright. Oh, sorry, guys. Take controls, I gotta get used to them again. Mm. Just, just like a chicken a swing. Oh, here we go. Dahlia and Alyssa. Look at that. Happy family. Alright. Hey, are you okay? Hopefully that's better. You can also turn this down a little. Turn this up. All right, let's get out of here. Is that Washington DC? It looks like it could be. I was testing this game out earlier to see how the flashlight handled. I got so lost in the house. <laughs> I couldn't find my way out. I kept running Safe into now. the fire. <laughs> hey, someone help her. Where is everyone? We had a wild party, Travis. I, I installed uh, I the she's okay. PPSSPP uh, uh, emulation thing, and then I just sort of went through the different settings. Though I see my window is a little weird. Hold on a sec. I used to have that small, and 
Maybe three times. Oh, and now it's filling it up. Okay. Is it? Oh, there we go. I fixed it. I don't know why the, the black bars were on there earlier. So what's kind of neat about this game is that we get a little bit of a throwback to the first game, which I, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, we are uh, we start off at Alcamilla and we could see some of the same stores from the first game recreated on Coon Street, which is cool. I'll try, I'll point them out to you. Okay. And I'm probably gonna do a lot of punching because <laughs> weapons break in this game. This is my favorite sign from the original, though it's been moved. You see several, uh, no, actually, no, it's been moved from one of the side streets from the original game, but it used to say just hot dog. I like that sign. Before we go to the hospital, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I can point out from the first game. Origins, uh, just once. And then I played through a little bit uh, last year or year and a half ago to get some footage for my Silent Hill 1 Let's Play. So it, I, this is really kind of a blind Let's Play. It's been years. So this post office was in the original game. It got a little bit more fancier, of course. Um, over here is Konami Burger. Uh, there actually used to be in the original game more tables and umbrellas and stuff. But they took it out. And now it's just some boxes in the sign. Uh, there's also, if you look over here, the Just Cats store. <laughs> I'm glad they kept that. Oh, get it. There we go. Very nice. I don't think. Oh, the the. I think, was this one in the original game? I know there was a, a Chinese food store, but I don't know if it was martial arts. Well, it looks like the hobby store is in here. Okay. Oh, I forgot he loses his breath. He's just as bad as York. He can run for 30 seconds. Uh, oh, I... Do you remember, I think it's only with a second playthrough, but you can go, I think, up these stairs and you can see some uh, larva, like, pods, like, hanging there. Because th that's where you fought the the, mo the moth, the twin feeler, is that what it's called? Twin feeler? In the original game. Alrighty. Oh, oh, there's one more. Sorry. The, the, this 30... Uh, I can't get a good look. Sorry. This was also in the original game, this store name. Alright, let's, I guess, get this thing started and find out what happened to the little girl. Ooh, I can look through the window? No. Nope. Alright, let's head inside. You. I'm so glad you enjoyed all my uh, fangirling and my podcasts and stuff. Uh, whoa. So, if you guys remember the original game... Oh, sorry, York. I just kicked my dog in the head. Um, this definitely has a lot more detail. Uh, oh, I should pick up the map. There we go. The, hold on. Let me change my options here. It's hard to see with the map zoomed in. Okay, so Alcamilla pretty much has the same layout as the original game. They did, however, uh, if you look on the left side and you see the uh, the two restrooms, they added like a second doorway here. Um, at the bottom near the conference room. That wasn't there in the original game. It was another room. Uh, so they, they, that's really the only change that I could see from the map. Everything else is pretty much laid out how it is in the original game, which is pretty cool. But 
they added another entrance to the hospital with Origins, which I thought kind of made sense because the original entrance was so tiny. You'd think there'd be a bigger entrance for ambulances and stuff to pull up if there was an emergency. Oh, uh, York, he's a rescue. I had to do a DNA test and they told me he was, uh, he's mixed, but the two two main breeds that they could find out was Pug and, and Lahasa Alpso. <laughs> and then a mixture of a bunch of other stuff. Um, don't, don't play with matches, okay? Is that a kid sitting on the toilet? Okay, that's weird. Beware hearts, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Uh, one sec, I can give you guys a link. Pull up my Instagram. <laughs> There you go. I do have quick saves in here, so I might. Yeah, that was my older save. And he is named after uh, Francis York Morgan. Oh, no. when it came out I, I originally played this on PSP and I remember when the PC uh, PS2 port came out although there was a lot of complaints about how dark it was and I didn't really realize it I, I didn't play the PS2 port until more recently and I was really surprised that they took out um, so if you go to options you got a brightness here this is re totally removed for the PS2 version, and I was trying to play it on emulation to get, like I said, footage for my Let's Play, and I could, I could barely see any of the items. It was horrible. And there was also, it's, it also glitches a lot, so you, you'll go into a room and it'll just be black and textures won't load in. So that's why I'm playing the PS2, PSP version, even though uh, when comparing the two, the PS2 version has better graphics. This is just, uh, I guess, a smoother playthrough, I think. I'll have to do less finagling with um, switching between sophomore mo software mode and hardware mode and all that good stuff. Oh, sorry, thank you. Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? Ooh. That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? Turn that Hello? off on the window capture. We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. No one's I have here, dude. Business to attend. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Now, in the original game, there used to be a vending machine here where you could get get some um, free health drinks, but not here. Dirty gurney, someone just left it here? Well, it's a hospital, dude, and they're a little... I don't know, I guess they're busy. Went to the second floor, we'll go there.
Yes? You okay? Oh, shit. I think this hammer is just laying here. Right. the other nurses will be that kind to me. Uh, if there were going to be another Silent Hill game, um, it might have been cool to see the original uh, Cold Heart concept with the uh, that dealt with unwanted pregnancy uh, abortion. That type of thing would have been cool. Um, maybe a, a prequel? Uh, maybe with more about the disappearances before the stuff with Alessa uh, back in um, when they first settled the town. That might be pretty cool to see. It still seems wet. Um, but I, I really would like another one with a, a female protagonist. Preliminary diagnosis, third degree burns, patient is unconscious, something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs, tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? God. She's fine, we can go. Let's go, Travis. Let's just go. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Travis, you ask too many questions. He just doesn't want to leave. You're the girl from the fire. How did you... Hmm. I'm seeing things. Uh, no, you're not. This ain't right. Correct, we should have left when we had the chance. Breathe. I don't think this is a puzzle piece. Oh. Like, I'm trying not to- I know people are talking about how there's some secret games in the works. I'm just trying not to get my hopes up until I see something like my hopes been dashed. Ah, too much. Oh, Cyberpunk Silent Hill might be interesting. Let's see if I can. She still sees me. Oh no! Shit! I don't know what button. I'm using an Xbox controller. <laughs> Pretty dark, but at least I can see stuff. I would love to see Silent Hill from Sybil's perspective. We you know we kind of kind of got that with the play novel, but um, I don't know. It might be cool to see what she was up to. Excuse me, I have, um, last year I did part of one of Sybil's scenarios. Hey, hey, Kari, how are you doing? Here, let me link that to you guys. Here's the, I only did one.
It was like one of my first streams last year. I think I did it after... Oh, here we go. Just the one. Hey, Fro Fraud, how you doing? Yeah. I should go back to it. It's a lot of reading, though. <laughs> Remember, can they still see me with the wrong button? I mean, it's mainly just text, so it's it's reading throughout the whole thing. kind of fun it is it is really kind of gets out there <laughs> it's very au-ish for silent hell there's a death mask on the door underneath is a plaque which reads even the blind need of eyes they wish to gaze at the future okay oh oh shoot no you can't see my lights off <laughs> i wish Just, he's able just to pick up everything. <laughs> Carries like I IV drip stands. Oh, thank you. I got a donation. Thank you, Wicked Inquisitor. That was so nice of you. Thank you. I am streaming all year round to raise money for Extra Life. My goal this year is. $5,000. I had a goal last year of 1000 and I was able to get halfway to 5000 so I'm going to see if I can get all the way this year. good songs. My my favorite track they have all the Silent Hill games is Shot Down in Flames from, from this game. I just really like it. Okay, that's locked. Um, let me check the other doors. I'm not sure if I have to go back through the mirror. I probably do. I remember there's a lot of you have to go back and forth between the real world and the other world. How did you guys feel about this game? Were you disappointed when it came out? Um, did you hate it? Did you love it? Parts of this note are obscured. Worry not. I have used the to contain her power. Is it the Flaros to contain her power? No one will come to her aid. One of the five hide them, protect them. Golden egg. Okay. I, I thought it was a little corny at times, but I didn't think it was that bad. I actually gained a lot more respect for it when uh, someone who worked on this game, they, they went on to the, I think it was during Voidbreaker's Let's Play, they went on to her uh, LP thread on something off the forums. Ooh. 
guess my thing broke. And they said pretty much they only had six or eight months to get this out the door. So this kind of had a, a, a kind of a hectic uh, development where it was first sent off to Climax LA. I think it was Climax LA. And they started work on this project and they had maybe, I don't know, uh, an alpha or whatever, and Konami hated it. It was some of the footage we saw with the over-the-shoulder camera and uh, Travis kind of punching these purple monster things. And that got scrapped and it was sent over to Climax UK. And all they had, they had all of the cinematics done, so they couldn't change any of that. Uh, but they basically had to rework the main game from the ground up, and they only had six to eight months to do it. So I'm pretty impressed at what they were able to put together in such a short time frame with the restrictions they were given. Because Konami didn't like it, but then of course they're all, we're not going to give you more time to fix it, you're going to still have to release it on time. So this, the, compared to the what we originally saw, this is so much better. And I don't know if you guys, I think it was Edge Magazine, was it Edge Magazine? They had an interview with Sam Barlow, I think someone else, and they were kind of talking about the original pitch for Origins from Climax LA, and they said it was going to be like a Scrubs. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's, it's going to be like a dark comedy in the vein of Scrubs. It seemed like it was going to be pretty bad. Yeah, the, you know the, the, the television show? The comedy show? I don't, I don't see how Silent Hill could be like Scrubs, but... This heart of mine troubles me. With its trembling too still, it I have put it on ice and locked it away. Remember, the three beauties who cause it to pump so are the key age before beauty. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't have a code. Nurses Center. Let me try there. All right, I guess I'll go back to the elevator. Does it work? Oh. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so I need to go back to the mayor. I mean, it, it, this game does get kind of silly, especially with the tons of weapons that traps can carry. Oh. I do like that he can punch things. I I remember when this game came came out. Uh, a little bit after its release, a lot of people were very upset about Lisa's portrayal. A lot of them didn't like how flirty she was with Travis and the whole, you know, sleeping with Kaufman and the drugs thing, but they thought she was too out of character, but I always argued that we never really knew the real Lisa, so she was a drug addict, so who knows. She's 16 in this game. All right, I guess we just better go, Travis. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, 
let me leave. <sighs> Shit, man, where am I supposed to go? <clears throat> Can't go in the exam room. Let's try the third floor. Did I already try the third floor? Excuse me, I remember the argument about the people not liking the mirrors. The mirror mechanic is because it, I guess, took away from the fear of the unpredictability of the other world, but I, I didn't really see it that much. You, I thought it was kind of more stressful knowing that you have to actually go to the other world to get something done. Um, first floor? This is the first floor. <sighs> so I guess I need that code. Yeah, the playhouse level was, was pretty cool. I remember that. With the stage and... Uh, changing into the actual turning the stage props going to the other world or whatever it would turn into a real real scene that was that was pretty cool though i hated the enemies that appeared on that level okay this is where i came from so oh it's blocked off huh All right, let's go back to the mirror. Apparently I missed something. Okay, what do I have? I have, oops. Classic lungs and a gold, oh! Do I put the egg on that door downstairs? Stairs, see if I can do something with the egg. Yeah, I when I remember I was really excited when this game was gonna come out because it was gonna you know have characters from the first game, and I was kind of sad about how little they actually showed up in the game. Went the wrong way. They were just more like cameos. drink. There's a thing over here, right? Okay. Can I use this? No. Pleasure than a hand has oil shine to it. trouble with your anatomy class find that getting them out is much easier than putting them back in just remember this easy uh monomic inside stevie little intestine stomach uh liver heart lungs okay mm -hmm. Oh. 
Oh, sure. Ew. Well, at least he's not sticking his hand in the toilet bowl. I think... I think I was able to unlock on my original PSP copy. I got... I punched a lot of things, so I got the gauntlet gloves, and I think I unlocked the Mira furry suit. Someone's written Amy 31. I should probably write this down. Amy 31. Open the door. Oh yeah, the Vincent outfit. I forgot about that one. Yeah, he had a lot he had a lot of cool little outfits. And I remember also the flashlight would have a different shape too, depending on the outfit you wore. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Cool. Where's the staff room? Oh, wow, I passed it. I remember the other time you, if you inputted the Konami code, it's for Silent Hill 3, and you can get uh, Douglas in the Hearts boxers, which is pretty funny. Travis is a furry. Oh, who we got? Uh, Lucy twenty three. Oh, what is that? Construction. As you as you know, the re renovations to the upper floors have run into problems. The plumbing leak and substan substandard materials used have forced us to close off the third floor until further notice. We are reminded of the familiar adage, you get what you pay for. <laughs> we now face six more months of work, reducing our capacity for the coming year. We will have to cut spending on inpatient care and consultancy fees by 50%. Therefore, we ask doctors to refrain from committing patients and encourage home stays instead, unless... They're dying in your arms. Don't book them in. Staff party. Worry not. The staff party is still on. Our recreation budget is locked away where no one can tamper. Everyone meet at Annie's Bar at 8 p.m. on Friday. Alcohol, uh, medicinal, of course, and food will be free. Arrive early to grab a trainee nurse. They go quick. Ugh. Uh, I am emulating the PSP version. On my get on my PC. Uh, can't remember we actually go in 
Do we go in Annie's bar? I don't think we do. We got the exam room key. Okay, so it's Sun on One and Shattered Memories then. Save our game. Oh, wrong game. <laughs> Sarah In the original game, this is the room where we met Lisa. Um, how do I get over here? There we go. Uh, oh, I'm missing a heart. Uh, was it lower? Nope. Ah! One. Oh, I need the heart. Well, I'll move it later. Uh, I need modern ga games that scratch my Silent Hill itch. Hmm, I think I can really think of. I mean, I liked, I really like Downpour. I know a lot of people didn't. Um, that indie game I played... Oh, God, I can't remember the name. Hold on a second, let me see here. Uh, library. Uh, Sim... Simulacrum. It's an indie game. It was very, very, like, Silent Hill-like. And I was playing... Concluse uh, before this game, and that was very Silent Hill y too. No, this that just seemed to be a prequel, it, it didn't actually end, so it looks like I'll have to get the second game. But it was free, so I don't mind. Um, the in the in Concluse, the guy was looking for his missing wife, and he he found out that she was in some New England town and he went to go find her and you know people are missing and it just seemed very Silent Hill 2-ish when I was playing it. Okay, I will look that one up. I remember Destiny, I think she really liked that room. I found on that heart box. Uh, 
Ah, camera. All right. What was the thing age before beauty? Uh, do I do like nineteen? Twenty three thirty one. Oh, I guess not. Um, remember. The three beauties who cause it to pump, so are the key age before beauty. So, do I put it in alphabetical order and then do that? So let me try that way then. Let's try it's Amy, Lucy, Sarah. So, 31, 23. And nineteen. Yay! All right. Ugh. Sorry, camera. Uh, to the lone survivor. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't expect the nurse to be right there. Lone survivor. I do want to play that one. Um. Uh, Zero Brightness podcast were really, uh, they were really talking about how great that one was. So I want to, I do want to try that game. So I was planning on, um, eh. you know, I just want to make sure I don't exit. Ah! Come at me, bro. Wow, it takes a long time to kill with punching. I have a scalpel. I'll use that next time. Alright, so now I need to go back down to the body in the exam room. Easy peasy. Where is the mirror? Excuse me. I'm just thinking, wow, there's not that, there's not that many enemies. <laughs> Boom. Nurse in my face. <sighs> uh, they're not as bad as the ones in the theater with the, the cage. And they disappear, they're like, they're shadowy, and then they disappear. Oh, I hate those ones. Yeah. And some of them are just like a one hit thing where like TVs, I think you can just throw them once. Looking for the exam room. It's over here. Nope. It's the door I leave through. I'm surprised I haven't picked up any IV stands yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that's creepy. <laughs> Alright, let's take those eyeballs. Yeah. Let's go downstairs. That's true, she did. I will I will throw a TV. I'm gonna carry like 30 of them, so 
If I miss, I'll have backups. I think I have one now. Yeah, I do. a boss oh, wrong. is there a boss in this level? I don't think there is. Oh, at least I have a TV I could throw it at. Size I'm appearing on my inventory. <laughs> Open the door before she stabs me. Fudge. How do you like it? I think so. Boom. Oh shit, there's two. <laughs> Broke. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I think I'm hurting. Uh, yeah, I think these are all one hit things. Oh, typewriter. Nope, they're all one hit. Ah, let's throw this. worth it for me to even turn off my flashlight. It seems like they still see me. Ooh, I'll drink. Love to see a Telltale style Silent Hill game. I feel like that format will work really well for the kind of stories they tell. That might be interesting. Oh, I'm in the lobby. Let's leave. No. Hell yeah, another TV. Oh, fuck. I forgot you were out here. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what button I'm supposed to push. No, there's two. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Open the door. <laughs> um. Where am I now? I'm in... Is it? Oh, hello. been cut open and her eyes are missing. What kind of monster could have done this? I think it was us. We did it, Travis. We took her eyes earlier.
Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, shoot! You spit I acid, I forgot. I uh, should probably... Sort of TV at you. Oh, shit! I don't know what button to push, cause I... Let go. But I actually, I did not equip my TV. Oh, typewriter! I'll throw this. Where are you? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna just push the wrong button because I don't have a PS. Oh no, I think we die. because of you. Okay, just punch him. That's so tough now, are you? My trusty fists take you out. Boom! Right in the Dick. <sighs> I know, I mean, <laughs> all else fails. Let's just punch things. Uh, is there anything missed in here? Nope. Okay, I guess I'll pick up the spooky triangle. What is this? It did work for him. You. What was that thing? Hey, this Melissa. Isn't happening. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I got sprayed with acid. Sorry, did I startle you? My name is Lisa. I'm a trainee here. Are you waiting for someone? No. No, I'm just... Well... I'm done here. Name's Travis. Nice to meet you, Lisa. You sure you're okay? You look a little shaken up. Sorry. No, it's okay. To be honest, I've been a little off all day. I was in a fire last night. I think it boiled my brain a little. The fire in the business district? How awful. I heard about that. No one knows how it got started. And that poor girl, Alessa Gillespie, to die like that. Alessa? Oh, she died. Time to go. She died? Yes. Sorry. Did you know her? No. But... Never mind. Well, I have to run. Dr. Kaufman wants to meet me over at Cedar Grove Sanitarium, and he'll be mad if I'm late. Maybe see you around? Take it easy, Travis. You too, Lisa. Bye. Yeah, she is 16. They apparently actually did research to find out what uh, the youngest uh, uh, nurse trainee could be, and it was 16 for uh, New England areas. Because it's um seven. This is seven years before the first game. I think she was twenty three. Yeah, was she sixteen? Did I did I actually say that? Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. They made her hair longer in the PS two version. I thought it was uh, sh just as short. Is this Lisa still alive? Yes. The Lisa we're talking to here is still alive. Hold on, so I want to look this up. I'm going to look up a, a picture from PS2. Uh, now I'm curious. Uh, something. 
Origins. It's two. Uh, Lisa. There we go. Oh, I guess it does look a little bit. Mm, yeah, they did. Oh, wait, no, that's not. That's a fan model. Hold on a second. Here we go. Copy. Image address. I'll paste it in the chat. There you go. I believe this is the PS2 model. So yeah, it is longer. I wonder why. Maybe to make it look a little bit close. Oh, you know what? I could probably show it on the stream too. Give me one sec. I just gotta bring a new source. Image. Hold on. Save this to my desktop. Sorry, I'm still new at this whole uh, doing extra stuff. Let's do a media source. No, image. <sighs> there we go. This is Lisa in the PSP. I mean, PS2 version. So her hair is longer. I wonder why they did that. That's weird. Maybe, uh... I don't know, maybe there's some points or something? Hmm. Alright, where was I going? I was going... To the back door. Oh, move my. What I find kind of hilarious about Origins is they have this huge ass sanatorium in the, <laughs> in the town. It is humongous. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. Yeah, they have a ment they have a sanatorium, they have another mental hospital, and then they have Apanella. <laughs> For such a small tourist town, they have many, many medical facilities. See, this is more of a, a proper hospital entrance. I mean, it's still a little bit small, but ambulances will have a little bit more room to come up in here. I forget you ran out of breath. I'm not, I'm just surprised they didn't just have. I guess it wouldn't have worked out because uh, Brookhaven is. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. Uh, maybe because Brookhaven was so far away map-wise, it wouldn't uh, make sense for Travis to be traveling around uh, Old Silent Hill if his mom was in Brookhaven. Okay, I'll, oh, oh, shoot. I already, oh, I see one. Ah, leave me alone. Let's do a save state. Save. There you go. Ooh, I'll drink. Ooh, something else? Is that a pipe? Can I pick that up? Uh, I guess not. Oh, shit! Am I gonna have to put you down? You might put me down, actually. Oh, fuck! Wrong button. I hate this so much. Oh, 
Oh, I see energy drink. And he's already really hurt. Hold on, Travis. I gotta find you more, more uh, health drinks. like on the other side. I'm sure there was something here. God, already out of breath, my dude. get a TV ready or something. Hell yeah. I'm ready for you. Come on. <gasps> Come on. Oh, fudge. No, I fucked up. <laughs> no. I gotta really map out what button is what <laughs> in relation to my Xbox controller. <laughs> um, or my TV go. Did he drop the TV? <gasps> you lose the TV? Oh no, fine, let's do toaster. Okay, I'm dead. At least I don't, um, I have a save state. Let me just load that up. Still have my TV. Oh, fuck, you're still alive. Oh wait, no, I came from here. Uh, oh, we got camera. Please catch up to where I'm at. Oh, God. Where's Travis? I would... Oh. 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 Wait, I'm back to where I was. Thanks. Went the wrong way. Run, Travis. Run faster. I get you a health drink. And an energy drink. I think I should just dodge these guys because I do not like the quick time stuff. Ooh, there's lots of these guys here. Get my TV ready. Okay, I got one! Oh no! Oh no! There's another health drink over here. <laughs> I thought he was gonna throw the TV. He just um pick it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, okay, I guess I can't go there. The there's a button to the center of the camera on PSP. It was L in the original. No idea what map you're in. I don't know. I thought I was supposed to go into the lumber yard. Oh, it's locked. I probably have to find a key. I just grab my PSP to put it on my desk so I can look to see what button they're referencing. <laughs>
town hall? But I could go into the town hall. That must be a side door. Ooh, plank of wood. Let's try this guy. Oh no. Oh, there is? Okay, hold on. Get my plank of wood and make a U-turn. A really big one, because I'm trying to avoid the guy. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Lord knows I need all the health drinks given how I'm playing. What you look at? What are you looking at? Oh. Ah! I don't want to get trapped. I got a stitch in my side. Oh my god, we need to stop. Stop running. I'm gonna die. I don't want an energy drink. I want health drinks. I'll drinks, please. <laughs> oh, can I go in here? No. I forget when I meet the butcher. I know I go through like a, a butcher shop or something. I think it's... Is it before I go to the... Um, sanatorium. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. I remember going through the lumber yard. So, what are, what am I missing here? Need a key. So let's go over here. Let's see what I missed. Oh, it's much later? Oh, okay. I guess I'm just supposed to be going towards the sanator- oh. Pff, all the way down there. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's blocked off, that's blocked off. Do I go through- th oh, I might, I might have to go through the butchers then. This is Town Hall. Oh, <laughs> you almost got me, my man. You almost got me. wheels. Oh, a crowbar. Oh, a meat hook. <sighs> you going here? Oh. Ooh, butcher shop. We must go through here then. Oh, really? Down? Okay, well, I... Oh, shit! Oh, my God, I have, like, a whole, like, group of them after me. <laughs> um... I was... After the wood plank. Oh, 
Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Let's, ooh, got some sausages. Ooh, health drink. And your, your flashlight does little to nothing, dude. It's still really dark in here. Is that bison? Or, no, maybe it's a bull. Another article, uh, they, were, they were hoping to make um, the butcher guy the proto pyramid head. So he was supposed to be this crazed doctor or butcher or something. And he turned into pyramid head. It was weird. I, for, I forget the exact. Stock up on all the weapons in here. Thank you very much. And then when uh, Climax UK got it, they're like, yeah, no, we're not gonna. We're just gonna take all that out. That's dumb. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, there's lots of them. Did I come from here? Yeah, I did. <laughs> that shuffle's kind of funny. these guys even more. Oh boy. I remember they would ram me. See if there's any goodies. Got a crate to throw. me is they say pyramid head look is the executioner so in theory there can be more of him but i always wanted it to be james's red pyramid thing and that bothers me yeah i um uh, i'm i'm of the in the camp that's like it, it's james's creature i i don't like how they try to shoehorn him into the other games because he's i guess popular it seems a little silly to me it makes sense if maybe he took a different form for other guys. But he kind of served the same purpose. I don't know, I always thought it was for James. Ah, don't run me over. Where is it? So let me check down here. Oh no, caution tape. My, my enemy, I cannot run through it. Or jump it. Or duck underneath it. It's like, watch out for the chasm. <laughs> okay, let's... I remember I did not like this area. It's really large. It's way too large. So I'm not looking forward to this part at all. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like the, the thing I just passed was, like, shit, it just got turned around. The thing I just passed is pretty original. It's like a derpy cow or something. It's based on the creature from the play, right? Uh. 
But this is way too big for such a small town. They must have a lot of crazy people. Come on, dude. Don't run out of breath. We're almost there. I just want to check the grounds for items. I like how he gets a second wind after a while. I don't think there's... Let's just go inside. Get this over and done with. At least I'll be able to see this time around. PTSD. Fact or fiction? It's it's fact, poster. It exists. Uh, right there. It is on. You couldn't really tell, given how dark this is right now, but... Travis, I think you might have PTSD a little bit. Let's get snacks. Nope. <laughs> it might be, yeah. Flashlight look, works so much better in this one room. <laughs> A wheelchair? Never need to use one of these myself. Fact or fiction? Hypnotherapy. Unlock your potential, I think? It looks like a P word. Something, I don't think it's a real word. Kunitolin, the solution to a global problem. Oh, I didn't pick up a map. I should probably find the map before I start looking in rooms. Should be in the front lobby, right? Oh, hey, it's Dahlia. You were in shoes. I saw you there. Of course you did. That was my house, burning. My daughter, Alessa. You were the one who saved her. <gasps> yeah, she was your daughter? Why did you leave her? Why did no one help? You all left that girl to burn. So we did. The world is stranger than you think. You're crazy. What happened to her? She died. Lisa said she was dead. Alessa is with those who care for her. Do not trust her, Travis. She does not know what she is doing. How do you know my name? Hey, answer me! They're all crazy. So why don't you leave? Let's just go back to the truck. Okay, is there a map in here? I'm going deeper into the hospital. There, you can see a map. Laundry? No. Mezzanine? Is this it? No. Nope. Oh, here we go. All right, make my way back. To the main room. Wait, what did you look at? Is this the map? Oh, 
All right, there we go. Oh, it's so large. Guys, this place is so large. It doesn't need to be this large. Oh, fun times. <laughs> what you, I love to see a story of a female soldier dealing with PTSD in the war in Iraq. I wish other AAA devs would make a spiritual successor to Silent Hill since Konami insists on doing nothing with it. That would be kind of cool to see. Uh, yeah, well, he, apparently he doesn't feel the need to use the payphones to call the police. Uh, yeah, Homecoming did ruin that a bit. It's kind of lame that... The twist was, he wasn't really a soldier. <laughs> There's a target pistol? Oh, there's a note. <laughs> Status report. On March 12th, 1960, patient Mrs. 34, examining doctor, Dr. Harris, notes, patient continues to harbor strong fantasies and a violent persecution complex. Her moods can swing from calm to violent aggression in a short time, which has led to her being moved to the seclusion wing. She becomes... Particularly violent during the occasional visits from her husband demanding that she be allowed to see their child. We have taken the precautionary step of adding epilenium to Mrs. Uh, blank medication to prevent her violent outbursts. I don't like having to sedate patients, but when she is aggressive, Blank is as much of a danger to herself as to her visiting husband and the staff. Okay, there's a gun in here. Let's see. Should probably so the beating stops. What is with that mural? What does it say? Something. Hey, man, give me a piece of chocolate. Okay. Um, I don't see a gun. Maybe it's in the other world version. Hmm. Huh, okay. Keep looking. Stairs. I don't. Laundry, storage, storage. Oh, I need to check the storage rooms. Check those and then go up the stairs. Okay. I will keep an eye out. I know guns will be very useful. Considering I don't like getting too close to some of the enemies. Mm. Giving me pistol ammunition. Can you guys see the environment okay? Okay. I was worried maybe it was maybe too, too dark. Okay, Travis, let's call the police. No? Oh, all right, check there. And there. Oh, wait, maybe I didn't check that wing. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this nose filter. 
makes things more smudgy. Let's go down first. Yeah, same. I never really liked it. I just felt it just made things harder to see and I was more interested in seeing, actually seeing the environments. The fog was already bad enough. Um, can I not look at this? Hey, guess not. Oh, what did you look at? Oh, a wrench. I should have pressed down. Oops. Ooh, this is a big boy. <clears throat> All right. I like. Oh, it's locked. All right, I guess we're going upstairs. I should probably save it. Actually, I will be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink. Well, they do have, um, in this game, whenever there's enemies nearby, the noise does get more intense. Which is kind of annoying, because then you can't see <laughs> very well. those shadow things. I hate these. Leave me alone. <laughs> see, like, you see the little grain? It's like the grain. It's, I guess it's kind of hard to see now, but there's like this black line and more like splotches appear on the screen when there's um, enemies around. Maybe she can't see me. Turn my flashlight off. They walk. Maybe they can't, they can't hear me. Please be one of these doors be open. No. Oh, 
I think I hit the right button. I did. Yeah. Right in the butt. Oh no. <laughs> her friends, her friends are coming for me. <sighs> Run, Travis. It's not my fault. She beat me up first. Okay. Can't see anything in the cabinet. I see some stuff. I see like bandages. Maybe some health stuff. Basement access. Oh, okay. Let's just crack this open. Nope. One of these days, I'd like a game uh, to allow you to do it either a brute force way, where you have a weapon where you can break something, and then the normal puzzle way. It'd be really cool if you could do a shortcut where you could, just, if you had like a, a pipe or something, you could just bust open a glass. That'd be pretty cool. But they won't let you know. You'd have to try it. Out of use. In light of the recent accident, I am barring the use of the iron lung equipment. This, apl this applies to all staff, including senior nurses, patients. Deaths during therapy are not to be treated lightly. I find it hard to believe that someone could have accidentally, oh, shoot, accidentally overload every valve on the equipment. And so, until the inquiry has concluded, I must assume the equipment itself is at fault. These precautions are essential. We owe a duty of care to all of our patients, even the difficult ones, Dr. Harris. Cool. So, can I... Do I just overload this? Let's just overload it. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I cannot. I like number four. Have fun. Okay. Okay, I got three of them. Oh, so close. I keep going to the left one. <sighs> okay, I think I'm missing something here. I know I gotta overload them. All right, let me try it again. Let's see. Do not expose patient to something. Do not be on the pressure safety valve. Do not attempt to pressure an empty. Oh, oops. This is a button I can push too.
a solution. <laughs> One, three, five, one. Thank you. <laughs> It's one of those guys. It's a, it's a long way. Maybe he won't see me. Okay. In the West Lorium? Uh. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. Wow, I didn't even look over on that side. Let me let me go back there and get the gun. What? Oh no, I'm still on the other side of the door. I thought for some reason I got through the door. <laughs> I was very confused. I'm like, how did I get into the lobby? Hello, little guy. How you doing? <laughs> Let's just pick up a filing cabinet, too. Why not? I'm 
armed, you guys. Watch out. Gonna miss wildly with my shots. Harris, our magpies have been at it again. This time they swallowed the damn keys for the archives and the basement. Don't worry, Gary. Has taken Mr. Magpie to the TB ward, and I'm taking Mrs. Magpie to hydrotherapy. We'll make them spit the keys out. This job would have been great if it weren't for the patients, Clem. Why are you in this line of work, Clem? Yeah, Sun Hill has like, the best map. I like how it marks off where he's been. Saves a lot of backtracking. Alright, so I need to go to the stairs and unlock the basement. Wait. Could I go in here? No. Okay. Wait, is that a door? No, a light switch. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I can make it in. I don't know what the button is. No, 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 no. No. Oh, what would you look at? I was looking at something. Let's open up that base oh. basement door. to zoom. Oh, there we go. There we go. Why was not? That... Thank you. I was pushing all the top buttons. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Just gonna take this and put it in my back pocket. I could pick up in here. Let's try my IV stand thing. Oh, 
those two of them figures. Ooh, oh my god, there's three of them. Leave me alone. Um, all these doors are going to be locked, aren't they? Lame. Okay. Oh, fudge. I forgot about the third one. It figures. All right, I gotta turn around. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the gun till later. Uh oh, this guy Oh that hurt, dude. There's storage room down there, too. I think I want to use the gun on his mom, right? If I turn my light off, I can sneak by him. Let's try it. He can open doors in the dark. He has that above uh, some of the other protagonists, like James. I can't see where to put the key. I need to find the light bulb. Oh, can I climb this? No. Looks like a sewage outflow. All the sewage from the pipe strains down here stinks to high heaven. Okay. Look at his map without the flashlight. That's pretty cool. His eyes are like a hawk's. Or an owl. Or any sort of uh, nocturnal animal. nuts? Oh shit, now he's shooting at me. I shouldn't have opened my big fat mouth. I mean, I mean did Laura did call him big fat, fat no, she called Eddie a big fat blabber mouth. She called him a poop fate? No. Shit, what did she call him? She called him something really childish and he got so offended. <laughs> Fart face, thank you. <laughs> fart face. <laughs> Just call me a fart face. A little brat. Uh, can I go up these stairs? Oh, I can.
I do not know owls can't move their eyes. Huh. I guess this is why their head turns all the way around, huh? Okay, I am in. All right, looks like I have to go down to that room. Ooh, I see a nurse. I see nurses. Oh, I'm like, why isn't he going up? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh no, the key! I should have looked! Oh. Anything else in here? I guess we go back down to the... Room with the sludge. The east pipe room. And get the key, I guess. Is there a key? What? Oh no, it's just the floor. <sighs> Do I go through the mirror? A weird looking doll. I should check the hydrotherapy. Okay, they're all locked. Let's go downstairs. Then I think I remember having to go to the other world to get the key. Not well then I'm a fart face, I just don't remember the game.
toilet's blocked. Ooh, it's squishy down here. Well, I guess you can't go that way. This is blocked by. Oh, it looks like bars. Depression carved onto the door. Looking at it makes my head feel numb. Ah! I've always hated you! You and your devil son! Oh god, Helen! My dear, dear Helen! You really are dead! What will I do? Apparently go to a motel and hang yourself. Hmm. What's with dads lately in, in the games I play? Oh, my wife's dead. I'm gonna just kill myself and leave my... Uh-oh. Oh no! This game... At least I can still kind of see things. See, the blackness would be what the PSP was. Uh, the PS2 version. I emulated it. Yeah, it's an emulator thing. But the emu emulation for the PS2 was even worse. <sighs> oh. Oh! Went away. Oh. Oh. Oh! Where am I supposed to go? Okay, that's locked. I guess head to the bathroom? Check this door first. Barely looking at my map solves the problem. I just... Oops! Ah! We're the wrong way! Oh my gosh! Okay, bathroom! Ooh! I'm not having as much problems I thought as I thought it would, so this is definitely going a lot smoother than I, th than I was thinking it might. But again, I was trying to use the PS2 version, and that was just awful. Bring me my son. Hey, I'm gonna try, Helen, but the game's kind of making it a little bit difficult. Blocking off things, and... There's a metal ringing in the... Pipe. Sounds like something is stuck. Should I flush it? Yes. No. Uh, was there anything else in here? Can I go? Oh, 
Nice. You mean I can unlock the door? Oh. Wait. This is always open? Oh. Excuse me, I'm on the first floor. The stairs were locked before. Okay. Let's go to that door. Got the patient belongings key. Where's that? Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, it's a lamp. Oh, I can pick it up. Let's pick up the doll. Somebody left their doll. I'll leave it here in case they come looking for it. Oh, aren't you nice, Travis? I would take it and throw it as a distraction. Alright. Uh... Let's see if I can unlock these stairs. Woohoo! I want to check. Oh. Can I go in this room? I go... Well, let me go get the key first. I think I flushed it down enough. I still find it a little funny that they made sure to have Travis make a cameo in, in Homecoming to give a, a ride to Alex to go home. <laughs> Dream, but I can't reach it through the grate. We have a ton of stuff in our inventory. Can't we use one of these things? Yeah, like a wrench. What do I need to get? Do I need to unlock? Or do I get the grate open? Okay. Um, I guess I go to patient belongings then? Let's go there. I know, right? Oh, that's true. He did seem he was well adjusted, so that was nice. He he didn't die, so that was always a plus. And I cannot imagine him going. But he seemed so happy to see see his truck again uh, in the good ending. So maybe he really liked his job. He's happy to go back, have things back to normal. All right, I guess I'll head back. Oh, you know what? I should probably... Oof. 
go up the other stairs. This will lead me closer to the patient lobby. Where did you go for like a couple days, man? You were off. You got some late, late deliveries, man. What was going on? Well, never mind. went through this town of Silent Hill. Got stuck a little while. Had to fight some demons, but I I'm back. I'm ready to go, Sarah. Don't fire me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Where'd you guys come from? I'm right here earlier. Yeah, I think I'd be a little bit wary going anywhere near Silent Hill after having an experience like this, you know? Like, why tempt fate? He might be drawn back in. <gasps> Status report. February 7th, 1961. So it was a year after the last note. Patient Mrs. Blank, Blank, age 35. Examine, oh, she was 30 in the last note. No, it was 1960, so it's only been a year. So she's been 34. Examining doctor, Dr. Harris, notes Mrs. Blank. Condition has degraded dramatically in the last few months. Her fantasies of a mirror world have become more acute and she spends more and more time in apparent catatonic state. She claims that during the time she's in the other world, oh, sorry, that during this time she's in the other world, she now has a full recollection of her attack on her son, but she shows no remorse for the incident. Indeed, she seems proud, almost smug, of her attempted, uh, Felicis, felicide, felicide? Is that how you pronounce it? I am worried that this behavior could be a side effect of the increased doses of epilenium that the patient has been prescribed. I have asked for her dose to be halved and hope to see positive results shortly. So Helen Grady was not very nice to her son. I wonder if uh, other world travel is hereditary. <laughs> She's talking about uh, traveling to the other world through mirrors, and here's Travis doing just that. Is Travis going crazy? All right, shotgun. Woohoo! Take it. Oh, whoa. The wall walls are c curved. All right, so do I try to go back downstairs to see if the grate's going? Maybe. I'll try that. I'm never going to be able to reach this door. You can just kind of step over a little bit and grab onto the knob. I've been trying, Travis. Oh, great. Three of them. Let's see if there's anything in the... Oh, no, it's blocked. Uh, right. Reach that door. I 
can't say I'm a fan of the current track that's playing. That gets kind of annoying. I know, it's so, so wide. Travis might have to, you know, extend his leg a little bit. He's, he's not short or anything. He can totally reach it. Is there anything in the middle? Let me see if the laundry and stuff is open first. Then I'll head downstairs. Oh, wait, isn't there... Oh, it's blocked. Okay, so I do have to go down those stairs. Attending officer's report, November 4th, 1959, uh, number VA 5545 10. When I arrived at the Grady house, the ambulance was already at the scene. The neighbor, Mr. Bryant, who's first called in the incident, had restrained Mrs. Grady, I assume it's Grady, and the paramedics were tending to the child. The husband, Mr. Grady, had not yet arrived back from his place of work. Thanks to Bryant's intervention, the gas had been turned off and the house ventilated. However, there was still a strong smell and I deemed it necessary to call the fire department as a precaution. It appeared that Mrs. Grady had attempted to gas herself and her child. When I spoke to the suspect, Mrs. Grady, she was uncooperative and seemed enraged. She demanded I release her so she could kill the devil child. She was clearly not in control of her mind. Mr. Bryant commented that several times in the previous weeks she he had heard loud arguments and screams from the house. He said Helen has not been well for a while. I'm getting kind of um this kind of also reminds me of Phantasmagoria 2 with um Curtis's mother trying to kill him because he he wasn't her son or she, he was a demon and it turned out that he actually was like this alien demonic force who took the place of her son and he didn't realize it. Uh, hey, maybe you're an alien, uh, Travis. Sit downstairs. See if I can get that key. Oh, I uh, <laughs> it, it's a, it's an old, it's an old uh, point and click of, uh, FMV game. It is wild with some cheesy cutscenes. I had to skip some because it. It got a little risque, and I didn't want Twitch to get mad at me. <laughs> uh, but it's it's on my YouTube channel. I can give you a link in case you are interested. I thought it was... Oh, here we go. Okay. 
There you go, if you're interested in watching the what the fuck story. <laughs> I, uh, also, the end bit of that game had the most bullshit puzzle. I had to look up a guide. There's a mirror. And Curtis had a pet rat named Blob, and he was a hit with all the ladies in the office. Everybody wanted to get into his pants, including his best friend. Well, he wanted to get in his best friend's pants. It was very cool. My one true pairing came true. <laughs> his best friend was like the best character in the game. Uh, it, it was Trevor. Trevor and Curtis. So Trevor was the best friend. Let's try to move the names. Haha, -ha, you missed me. What? Oh, it's not a doorway. It's also a very kinky game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Trevor was the best character. He was the most understanding. Uh, he sent funny meme emails before it was a uh, before it was cool. It's squishy in here. All right, is there any items? Hey, Rainbow. How's Princess doing? Okay, what did the... I just... Uh, it was the archive room I got a key to? Where's that? library archive okay it's on the second floor no oh, no why does she not like the food in there <laughs> I get to the archive room. Oh, I guess I'll just go up the stairs. Okay.
thing with York is he's not very food mo motivated. Obviously, I have to bribe him to eat by putting his toy under the bowl and whatnot. He's very <sighs> weird. Alright, I need to go second floor. run by this guy. Okay. Right top. Okay. Were there nurses here before? National Sad Awareness Day, SAD. What are that? But this. I had to do it. You had to? Please, help me understand. That's what you do with pests. That's what you do, isn't it? And he was a pest. Oh, he was a bad boy. Always has been. Ooh, you hear that trap? You're a bad boy. I he wasn't, but they were there to make sure I didn't forget. They? The people in the mirrors, they see it all. What's really going on? And it was their idea? Yes. They saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility, my flesh and blood. I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. Yeah, Good she wounds, meant that threat dead, literally. Bad sons, they say. I know you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen. No. You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. Oh, maybe. But you can't. I can leave whenever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their world. This world is just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? <sighs> yeah. Your mom wasn't well, Travis. Or maybe she knew something that we don't know. You are evil inside. Oh, thank God, I got another portable TV. Do they even have portable TV? I guess they... No. Did they? I don't remember portable TVs in the... Well, I wasn't alive in the 70s, but... That, like portable TVs was kind of like a new thing. They had little TVs. Uh, let's just go through the mirror. Oh, you did? Okay. I just remember there was always cords on the TVs. And the portable, and the, and the TVs that were that small, that are uh, portable, had really small screens. Hmm. I guess maybe it's kind of like car phones and cell phones. Like, they were super expensive. This, so I'm back in here, so it looks like I can explore the... Where is the door? This, this place is so big. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to get to now. We have both keys.
Oh, let me look at the storage first. I always get so turned around. Oh, well. Guess I'm not looking up there. Let's try looking in here. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit off kilter there. Incident report. Reporting staff member Simmons. Incident description. A male child entered into the sanitarium unchallenged and got through into the female seclusion. Doors were left unlocked. He entered the female seclusion room 5 at which point orderly Michaels observed him and alerted me. The boy was a child of a visitor and was taken away by his father. Excuse me. Uh, failures. The doors to the female seclusion were left unlocked by the orderly, and the staff in the lobby failed to notice the boy when he arrived in the mezzanine area. Recommendation. All staff to be reminded of the importance of locking ward doors. Review of a staff of staff to be conducted by duty managers. Travis. Just go up the stairs. Must be looking for another key. I oh no. 
know, that's from the hospital. Bye bye. There we go. And ba oh, I already opened all those. Okay, never mind. Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to explore. Look, I can I can run super fast when I do this. <laughs> Ow. Uh, <clears throat> Well, I can unlock the day room. That was the wrong way. Okay. I can't go to the third floor, it's blocked. Um. Do I go? Huh. Oh, TB ward is... No. Why is that underlined? I didn't check. Oh, I didn't check the female sick ward. I guess I could try there. It's locked. That's locked. I like cute ward. And check there. But those doors are locked, so. Am I supposed to go through the mirror world and. Um, maybe I, maybe I missed something in the mirror world. What sucks is this place is so big, so it's quite easy to just not know where to go or where you are. And you have like basically two floor plans. Other world and then normal. So let me see. And now you block off. Oh, 
Okay, there's some stairs there. Let's see if I can get the... Okay, never mind. It's so squishy. Yeah. I'm in the Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm in a new section. Not sure what I'm looking for. Oh, can I go all the way to the top? Let's see. Oh, cool. Okay, let's let's start up here then. And I'll work my way down. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Game's like, nope. Let's see. Let's try nail seclusion. do not mess up from one red blue I will just take a picture of this remember pills only for patients so can we not Lots of plates here. Oh, a scale. I think they had maybe um, anorexia or bulimia, maybe. bottles the tops are off so everything inside evaporated a long time ago Wrist maker's dummy what is sticking out can I grab that there we go a poker huh what would be I don't know scorch black <laughs> Yes, they burned it. Ooh, this one's all bloody. And razors. Sit with dirt. Outside. Uh, let's try the doors. Okay. All the doors are going to be locked. <laughs> It's open. <sighs> now, I was hoping being in a a medical building, there'd be a lot more health drinks for me to pick up. And 
Not so. Oh, 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 I kind of remember this one. Okay. So I like, I remember I liked this, this puzzle. So we just have to give the right pill to the correct doll. So let's see here. My picture here. Room one. Oh, I should have taken note about the doors. Well, room five was the person with the eating disorder. So that was blue. Uh, ooh, that's why it was because it was a guy and he wanted to do dressmaker. Okay, hold on. I got to take note of the actual placement of the rooms. One was the razors, right? Yeah. Razors. Two is the fire. No, I don't think I have to three. Oh no, three is the dress make dress. is red and that was razors okay room two is fire and that was blue room three was dress and that's yellow room four was barred and that's green. So I'm gonna assume it's the guy with the knives. And room five is blue. And that's anorexia. Nice. Ooh, okay, we got the doctor key. That is Oh, first floor. I gotta return to the normal world. I think I'm getting close. Woohoo! Head down the stairs.
Oh, I hit the right button. Oh, I didn't hit the right button. Oh. Jocasta Artifact. A new patient, Helen Grady, arrived today. I was surprised to see how calm and well behaved she was. After reading her notes, I was worried that she might be something of a handful. The woman is in complete denial and claims no recollection of the incident which, she, which saw her committed. Indeed, she has asked repeatedly to be allowed to see her son. I have agreed with her husband that it is best that the boy be kept away, his mother. While there seems little hope for any long-term recovery, I look forward to spending some time with Mrs. Grady. Her condition is most fascinating. Yeah, I like it. You don't feel like prying? You've been reading up on your mom, dude. <laughs> Why get shy now? Uh, oh, is that something else? All right, looks like I can I can finally open up the uh, this female stuff. Uh, I have to go. I have to go through the mirror world. Yeah, remember. Are gone. What? Oh, I didn't open it. I'm an idiot. Sorry, Travis, we gotta go the long way because I forgot to unlock a door. to the nice music. <sighs> Wrong door. Oh no, right door. Why does these stairs?
I got all the mods just disappeared because they expected me to already have unlocked that door. With the mirror world, I guess. Hey, Lisa. Lisa? You're here too? Can you see all this stuff? Is it all dark for you too? I... It's so sad. They can't do anything for her. She just sits there. She wants her boy so badly. Yeah, to kill him. What are you talking him? about? Is the girl inside? Alessa? Is Alessa in there? No. No! You know who's in there! Okay. I <laughs> glitched. I can't even look at my map. Why do I feel uneasy when I look at this? Looks like a house. Heavy scribbles. This looks strange. What is it? A monster? A child? There's something unsettling about this drawing. Hmm. Can't make this one out. The current drawing, parts of it are scribbled out. Looks like a child's drawing. Who drew this? I'm guessing these are all done by his mom. There's something disturbing about this picture. 
career trellis, child is drawing. Mom, I've come for a visit. Mama? Daddy said you were dead. Are you dead? I'm not dead. Locked away. Out of sight, out of mind, but not dead. I asked them to bring my boy to me. Mama. Come here, boy. Let Mama take a look at you. Uh, you made a mistake, Travis. It can only okay, two bullets. Can get her? Oh, jeez. She didn't get me. Isn't that bad? <sighs> Sorry, Mom. This is just like before. Except I didn't have to fight something before. What's happening here? That thing, it couldn't have been. Are you making this happen? Are you doing this? <sighs> Wait. No. <laughs> Need to go to Christmas past. I don't know, Travis. Maybe we should just go. the entrance. Oh, here we go. Oh, what?
something on the table back there? Over here. I got a theater ticket. Yeah, good thing we picked that up. Totally useful. Lumberyard. I know, like, come on, dude, get in the car. Like, break the window. I don't know, but I could run over some monsters. Nope, nope, I don't want to get in the car. Oh no! Get in the car! Well, I guess I'm gonna, I'll stop for now, and I will continue this tomorrow. I say the state? Okay. I will continue this tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, and I will speak to you all again real soon. Have a great Sunday. Bye, everybody.